hooked on the fly here guys today we're going to be tying a, a red quill parachute the hook i'm going to be using is a daiichi a dairiki uh, size 14 number 320 dry fly hook i'm going to be using some uh, duck flank for the post just any color duck flank is fine i'm going to be using some smoky dark gray dun hackle for the tails as far as the ha hackle for the thorax I'm going to be using some um, Adams uh, hair's ear dubbing and of course the body is going to be a red quill I already have my quills pre-stripped they're soaking in water right now so let's get going let's get started let's put a hook in the vise the thread I'm going to be using is a Danville's 8 Ot um, gray um, thread which I have here I like to use pretty much all eight uh, threads uh, for it and here we go let's get the hook in the vise what you want to do you want to begin with your thread and right behind the hook eye and work it about three quarters of the way down the hook and then you're going to bring it back halfway from there all right so you're about a quarter of the hook length away what you want to do now is just take your wood duck flank, uh, strip off the fuzzies, and this is going to be my post. So it doesn't really matter whether your, your feathers are even right there or not. Uh, it really doesn't matter because it's just going to be acting as your post. And we're just going to make it about the same length as the hook. Make it nice and tall. Uh, so that way you can see it sticking out of the water. Here, tie it in. I like to do a loose wrap right between my fingers. And then just bring it down. Put a couple more wraps behind it. Now, whenever you're cutting off this access, you want to cut it on an angle this way, like I have my scissors, to bring the body this way. You want a nice and even body for when you tie this, and you want the quills to just roll up the body instead of you struggling to get it up there. If you guys haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. If you have friends that fly fish and want to learn how to tie or just want to watch my videos possibly tell them to come and check out my channel and um, send them the link alright so I'm just basically building up a little bit of a thread in the front so the the feather stands up and now what we're gonna do we're gonna wrap the post and make the post so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna slowly start going around the post and slowly working my way up if it comes off just hold your post so I'm gonna do about 10 wraps up and then 10 wraps down and then if you want to go back up a couple more times and come back a couple of times it's fine as well what we're going to do now we're going to cut off as you can see I got a couple stranglers here I'm going to cut those off That way we have a nice clean looking fly. Now 
Cap towards the front, go towards the Hokai. And bring it back. And you could see our body's tapering down. What I'm going to take is take a little bit some of my head cement and just apply it to the post to kind of stiffen it up a little bit. So when we wrap our hackle around the post, it's nice and stiff. Whenever you do your tails, you want to bring your thread all the way back to about where your barber the hook is, which is right about there. Whenever you're selecting your tails, do not select this webby part. Move up the feather uh, to where you get the more stiffer ends. Just peel them off, put them in your hand, try to keep the tips even. And we're going to make it about the same as the length of the body. Now I like to tie off everything closer to me. Uh, when it comes to tying off additional stuff. Because then I'm able to rotate it right where it needs to be. There's our tail. And we're going to cut off this excess. that in and our body is going to become nice tapered body now work our way back and there's our body we're going to take our <clears throat> red quill if you have some um, rusty red um, feathers you could just strip the feathers off of it or you could just get these uh, pre-stripped quills and just cut off the tip just so you don't have that really skinny portion of it and whenever I tie this in off I tie it off about this length right here on the hook but I'll be doing it on my side just to kind of secure the whole quill to the rest of the fly and it makes a nice um, even body too as we're doing it and I'll work my way forward and then back just to make sure it's fully secured on there because I don't like to use too much head cement I already used some on the post so we'll leave that there and start wrapping whenever you're wrapping this you could use hackle pliers or you could be using your hand if you're not comfortable with using my hand, your hand as I am using mine, just use some hackle pliers. A good set of hackle pliers will take you a long way. I don't always like to use them, um, but that's just me. Slowly start wrapping it towards the front. Try not to leave any gaps within the fly itself and just move up. To right where about where your body would end which will be our next turn which is right there I'm going to tie this off I like to tie it off at the top because I get to see how well I'm securing this quill cut off the access and just secure it just like that now there's a couple of different ways you could do this. You could do what I'm going to do. One, two, three. One, two, three. And that will secure your quills to your body. And you could also apply a little head cement on top of that. Or you could just apply some head cement to it without doing the whole thread portion as I did. It's completely up to you. Now, the feather that I'm using for the hackle around the post, 
there it is this is a size 14 I used my gauge but see how long that strip is the reason why I wanted that long is because I want to secure it here on the hook and as I'm gonna wrap it up the post here there's not gonna be any fibers trapped between my hackle and my post so I'll secure that in there and work my way down and secure the rest to the shank of the hook All right, this is nice and stiff now so now we can apply our dubbing if you've never made a parachute you've never tied a parachute don't be shy these are actually very very effective flies they float very nice and they're a lot easier than you think they are to tie whenever you put this noodle on here you want it nice and tight you don't want it loose because this is the thorax of your fly you don't want it loose as you saw me I went up this way and then around the the post is because I'm going to be tying off this hackle onto the post. So what you'll do, you'll begin at the top and slowly wrapping your hackle down. Try not to trap any of your hackles. About five to six turns should do it. And if you notice, I'm kind of weaving and bobbing around this stuff here. Reason is, I don't want to trap any of these fibers underneath my thread now whenever you tie off the post here your post is tied off now you gotta whip finish your uh, hackle here uh, some people like to turn the fly this way so it's vertical and I'm gonna show you what I mean by that they like to turn the fly this way and whip finish it just like this right onto the post this is the cleanest so that way you don't see anything on your dubbing about four or five turns will do it and you're tied off right to the post Take your thread, cut it nice and close. And there is your fly. I'm gonna put it back in the hook to the vise. And there is your fly. So a nice effective pattern. You see those little fibers sticking out, you can see them on the camera. That's just from dubbing. Cut those off. And there it is. A nice little red quill parachute.